In this tutorial, we will teach you how to give an underwater effect to an image through Photoshop. Open a new file in your Photoshop of 6 by 8 inches. Turn this background layer into a new layer first. First of all, we'll choose two blue color tones to give a gradient to our layer for the background and foreground separately. For the foreground, we will use 1680D1, and for the background, we will use 0C1B6C. Next, select the gradient tool from the toolbox and open its options. We will keep the style as linear and will draw a straight line on the layer by pressing the shift key. Create a new layer and then set the foreground color to B9DDF9. Next, select the gradient tool and from its options bar, select the radial gradient. Apply the gradient to this layer. Take the selection of this layer by using Control Command with left click on mouse. Next, we'll apply the Cloud Filter by going to the Filter tab and from Render, selecting the Clouds option. After doing that, we'll apply the Plastic Wrap Filter on the same selection by going back to the Filter tab and from Artistic, selecting the Plastic Wrap Filter. In this tutorial, the settings for the Plastic Wrap Filter will be Highlight 16, Detail 13, and Smoothness 2. Transform the same layer by pressing the Control T key. Right click on it and from the drop down, select the Distort option. Now erase the edges to give a smooth effect. Take a duplicate of this layer and change the blend mode from normal to linear light. You will find these options under the Layers tab available on your right. Reduce its opacity to 59%. Create another layer and set the color 32F7E7 for the gradient. Keep the style radial this time. Change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Keep its opacity at 79%. Create another new layer and set the color 32F7E7 for the gradient. Go to the Gradient Editor present in the Options bar. Change the gradient type from Solid to Noise and Roughness to 100%. Here in this Gradient Editor window, you'll see the buttons for Options at the bottom right. Check on both of the options that restrict the color and add transparency. Click on the OK button to exit. Apply the gradient. Change its Blend Mode to Screen and Opacity to 19%. Now place your final picture by going to the File tab and clicking on the Place option. Fit the picture on your canvas and reduce the opacity to 19%. Bring this picture layer down but right above the first layer. Create a final new layer for the bubble effect. Select the Brush tool from the toolbar and open the Brush palette by pressing the F5 key. Select the Bubble Brush from the Brush presets and make bubbles all over the canvas using light colors. In this tutorial, we used white and light blue to give an underwater effect. This is how you give underwater effect to an image.